Hurricane season officially begins tomorrow, but the first named storm of the season was Alberto, and it caused major issues in the Gulf Coast and along the southeast. Governor Henry McMaster was on the coast to talk about preparing for a hurricane before it arrives. And News 2's Stetson Miller is there. Hurricane season begins tomorrow, and today, here at the Charleston County Emergency Operations Center, Governor McMaster, emergency management directors, and others address the Tri-County area about getting prepared for the upcoming season. Today, Governor McMaster made a stop in the Low Country on his hurricane preparedness tour to emphasize the need to have a plan and prepare for the next storm. We know we're going to have hurricanes. It's just a question when and where and how bad will they be. But we can control our own preparedness. Having an emergency supply kit, putting together a personal evacuation plan, and knowing your evacuation zones are some of the steps officials want residents to take now. What we're asking all our residents to be is their own emergency manager. And you may end up being the help until help arrives. So we want everybody to have a plan. Dorchester County Councilman Jay Byers said that even those away from the coast need to plan because storms can threaten inland areas, and some of which are still in evacuation zones. Just because you're further inland does not mean that you're not in an evacuation zone that you need to leave. And you need to leave as early as possible so that we can actually mitigate the traffic of folks that have to get out from further closer to the coast. And soon, emergency officials will host a simulation of an evacuation lane reversal on June 7th. No lanes on I-26 will actually be reversed, but you might see law enforcement rehearsing their positions during the simulation. We will deploy people to I-26 from Charleston to Columbia to ensure everybody is aware of what their role is and, and how that operation is going to work. And there are resources to get information about how to prepare for evacuations, like the 2018 Charleston Hurricane Preparedness Guide and their emergency management app. Now, if you want to take a look at the Charleston County Hurricane Guide or any of the other preparedness information released today, head to our website, counton2.com. At the Charleston County Emergency Operations Center, Stetson Miller, count on two.